In 1940, six months after the outbreak of war, the 16th 5th Lancers and the 17th 21st Lancers were brought together in a partnership that was to last throughout the war. As part of the newly formed 26th Armoured Brigade, the two regiments spent the next two years in England training in the art of tank warfare. In November 1942, the brigade sailed for North Africa, where Allied forces were opening a new front to increase pressure on Rommel's Africa Corps, who were falling back from Montgomery's advancing 8th Army. The plan called for rapid movement from Algiers, east to Tunis, in order to capture the strategic port at the heart of the German supply lines. Unfortunately for the Allies, the swift capture of Tunis was thwarted, not only by heavy prolonged rainfall, but also by the quick reinforcement of German forces. In February, actions at Kasserin and Thala had halted a powerful German counter-offensive. General Alexander, the first army commander, now ordered the Allies to break through the German defences and attack Rommel's retreating army. The main obstacle on this line of attack was the Fondug Pass. It was a flat, open plain, a thousand yards wide, dominated from both sides by its steep, rocky heights. The plan was to capture the high ground and to allow both the 16th 5th Lancers and the 17th 21st Lancers to proceed through the pass and pursue the German forces who were retreating towards Tunis. On the 8th of April, the 17th 21st Lancers were sent ahead to wreck the pass. However, the failure to take the high ground resulted in the loss of four tanks due to anti-tank fire. The regiment then withdrew for the night. On the morning of the 9th of April, the 17th 21st Lancers were ordered to force the pass at any cost. At 9 o'clock, the regiment advanced. They immediately came under fire from artillery and anti-tank guns with deadly effect. In addition, the minefields took their toll. For two hours, the 17th 21st suffered the onslaught. The handful of tanks left in action stood their ground. During this period, the regiment lost some 32 tanks, 27 of them beyond recovery. The German retreat continued unmolested. At 12 noon, the 16th 5th Lancers were ordered to take up the advance. Advised by the 17th 21st Lancers that the anti-tank guns in the dry riverbed to the left had been destroyed, the 16th 5th Lancers took this route. The 16th 5th Lancers managed to find a safe passage through, allowing the regiment to break through the minefield into open ground. The advance continued with some success resulting in the destruction of three German tanks, 15 anti-tank guns and the capture of some 50 prisoners. Total losses incurred to the 16th 5th and 17th 21st Lancers were 17 killed with 37 wounded and 39 tanks destroyed. Thus ended the Battle of Fondouk, a valiant action which sadly failed to achieve the aim of preventing the German retreat to Tunis. <laughs>